Scott, what's uh, what what's Oahu's market been like? It's been 30 days. What's what's kind of happening? Yeah, we actually hit two records both on uh, single family homes and condos this month. You know, I was saying I was watching condo inventory just dry up and, and pending sales on condos going up. Well, and we were trending at 8% uh, price appreciation for condos year to date. Well, this past month, we're up 16.8% and the inventory has dropped down to the same level as single family homes. So we should expect condos to kind of follow the single family home trends trend. So I expect that 15 to 20% price appreciation moving forward on condos. And I wrote an offer down in Waikiki. Uh, and I had mentioned this, we had, um, I had called the agent that she had had like 30, 30 calls for showings within the first two days. And this is a condo in Waikiki, which would have been hurt more during the pandemic time. And uh, we ended up a hundred grand over asking to, to get that one in escrow. I just, uh, single family homes, our inventory is not cr increasing and as long as the inventory is not increasing we're going to still have the same similar price appreciation going forward i've seen two articles about um, affordability and that's the main thing that's driving this things are still more affordable now by like 30 35 percent more than any peak in the previous booms uh so affordability is still driving this people still have money uh interest rates are still really low so it's doing well um, but I even wrote a, an offer in Kailua the other day. The property was listed at 1.395. We came in at 1.45. Uh, we were ninth position out of 11. It went for over 1.5 million cash. Uh, so, I mean, it, we're not seeing the slowdown. And that's what we're looking at is multiple offers, significant, you know, uh, significant competition. But I'm getting success. Like I'm getting an escrow. I negotiated two different times with buyers for uh, for credits and price reductions on sellers. Both were about five grand. So it, you, you can still get something and you can find value and you can make it through. You just have to understand the market. We'll get you there and, and make sure the property is what you think it is. Excellent. Thanks, Scott. And uh, uh, Auntie George made, made a, a comment, uh, a, a shout out that people need to uh, 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 people need to hire reputable agents like Heidi, Scott or Dylan and not get bad advice. Yes, Auntie Joyce, you are. I concur. I concur completely. Yeah, it's a uh, it's an interesting market, it's, it's Scott. It's, it's interesting. I have to tell you, I know that your stats are correct about affordability, but it's really hard to kind of wrap one's head around the fact that a million dollar property in 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 Ottawa who is considered uh, affordable, more affordable than it than it's been in in a while. That's just uh, the yeah, way it is. I look for fix ups and ones that need major repairs, and I'm going, oh, wow, I'm paying. I'm my budget is minimum a million bucks because I'm. I'm not getting anything under that, not something I want to work with. And so it's it's crazy. The other thing that's actually interesting, Japan is starting to ease their restrictions on COVID. They haven't eased it on the quarantine travel restriction yet. But when they do, Alamoana, Kaka'ako, Waikiki will boom because we're going to get that push from people coming from Asia, especially Japan. That's our biggest market. OK, it's now that's something that's soon. that's something that's notable, everybody. So I want you all to kind of kind of uh, uh, take in what Scott just said. Because he is correct. I, I built well. We don't know if he's correct. He's making a future prediction. So we'll know. We'll know in in about a year whether Scott's prediction is true. But if you if you look at the uh, the trustworthiness and the accuracy of the predictions that we made in the past, it's a pretty good assumption. What you're saying, Scott, I hear you saying is that and when when Japan and, and uh, other parts of Asia relax their COVID restrictions, as they all are, uh, we're going to get a lot of those Asian buyers uh, coming into Oahu. A lot of pent up demand which means those, and they like those condos, uh, Waikiki, Kakako condos, uh, more likely than not, demand's going to go up. And when demand goes up, so does price. Is that what you're saying, Scott? Yeah, exactly. And not just, and not just Asia, everywhere, right? Pretty much, we've had zero international travel for That's a really almost point. two years, right? And that most people a... still want to buy something. So even with all of the demand that we've had, that's minus international demand, which is a significant amount in, in most of our markets. That's an excellent point, Dylan. That is an excellent. Yes, not just Japan. Yeah, very, very. And the true. international buyer, when they come, it's hard to get financing. So a lot of times they're coming with cash or fifty percent down. So not only are they coming, but they're coming with briefcases of money. Now you've got not only are you adding more buyers, but now you're adding competition where it's harder to compete. So the sooner you get into the market, the better off you're going to be. Yeah, that's a, those are all really good good points. I, I you know for for some reason, Scott, I just had a memory flash. I I, I imagine. Russian, uh, Russian mafia guys walking over here with briefcases full of gold bullion, you know, and uh, 
buying condo in Waikiki for my for my daughter. You know, I just I just couldn't 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 help myself on that image. Uh, so so Scott Natasha's got got a got a request. Keep other buyers away from Kaimuki. Natasha, the only way to keep other buyers away from Kaimuki is you got to buy, girl. That's the way to keep other buyers out because people are. Uh, uh, for better or for worse, people are watching this broadcast and other things. I know Scott and everyone here has got a newsletter, and these things are uh, these things go out in the market. And, and it is it is uh, we're not the only ones who know about what's going to be happening. So I recommend all of you kind of uh, figure.